I don't know. Uh, even if he runs out here, I wouldn't want this hard a shot. Well, we'll see. He hits balls with confidence and accuracy and authority, and this is one that uh, you almost have to roll this ball. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Under pressure, that's a very tough shot. Or at least in my estimation, it is. And he had the nine ball to contend with a little bit, but turned out to be not much of a problem for him. Right. Okay, he's going to draw this low with maybe a little bit of left English. Hey, okay, good shot. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's getting more interesting as we speak. 5-3. And I think he's on a 16-ball run, isn't he? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pat Fleury. 15-or-16-ball uh, run, I think. And our score is 5-3, to three, Reyes. Both are shooting 940. Isn't that something? Well, they're both uh, playing an incredible pool at this point. That's we almost perfect pool, 940. Now we can ask for any more, any better match than this. No, no. You know, it's hard to believe if you're Efren leading 5-3, you might feel like he's a slight underdog here. And actually, the odds go down to about 4-1 to one here. Uh, Against Ramil winning this winning the, the set and the tournament. Hit it solid. Eight balls in, there's a one, and he's got a tough shot on the two. Yeah, that he does. Well, when I teach people, I teach them how to play position on that one ball, too, and um, that's what he wanted, is a one ball to go to that same corner from which he broke, but it happened to go. Now, uh, what do you like here? This, this is tough. I'll tell you what I don't like. Just, just to reference this a bit from my perspective. Also, when I teach, I try to teach people you don't shoot a bunt shot from long distance. The results are usually dismal. He's looking to, I think he's looking to hit the two f firm and draw into the six. But, uh, uh, I don't no. think, I don't, uh, and play the four, you mean? No, or maybe he's looking to come off the rail and shoot the two to come towards the three, one rail. Uh, uh, it's hard to tell. Well, I'm looking at this, and, you know, I, uh, when I first saw it, I thought, well, maybe there's a way to put him behind this four, six, but I don't see any easy way to do that. Now, if he could dig in there behind it deeply, he could go rail first and and kick the two ball towards the three and maybe get it behind there. That's really the best shot he, he had. Uh, but he's liable to end up back there because Efren's going to hit the bottom of the two ball. And I like using a high ball here and a nice medium speed, and he wants to hit about two-thirds of that two ball. Now, the high ball will help get the cue ball behind the four-six. Like this. Ooh. I hit a little bit too much of the two. Yeah, yeah. But even so, uh, he can't play this in the side. There's no shot in the corner, and uh, I don't see much of a safety. He's got a one-pocket style safety, though, where you could bank the two-ball one rail to the end rail towards the four-ball, and the cue ball, two rails try to put it behind the nine. That's one possibility. 
but I don't believe he can shoot this. He's going to... No, I don't know what he's doing here. See, there's another place where one pocket really comes to the fore, Dan. A one pocket player practically always knows whether there's a kiss on a shot like that. No, I, I like his idea, but do you know the four six are tied up here, so he's not out of, out of action yet. Now, if you're effort, now that's what he's looking at. See, he wants to get there, and he wants to draw back into him, and, and i got to give the guy credit. He's one of the best in the world at this sort of situation. I'll see if he gets the proper angle. No, he didn't get it. Now he's going to have to make the three and play safe. Because if he tries to go into him now, he risks missing the three ball, which he can ill afford. Now, if I'm going to do this, uh, I want to have the right angle and be as close to it as I can. So he's got a couple of ways he can do this. He can come all the way back to the end rail, or he can have about the angle he's got here, but only a little closer to it. Like this, right? Now, this gives him a lot of options. But I think what we'll see is we won't see him roll it and, and, and put Ramil behind the, the uh, six. He'd like to punch it forward and, and maybe hit this four ball two rails towards a nine. That way he, he'll have great distance between the cue ball and the object ball. Like this. Well, you called that correctly. That's well, this is beautiful. Uh, and again, see the bunt safety there. You're going to lose game after game against these great kickers and defenders. Now Efren's the favorite. Well, you got to try to do something here. You hit at a nice medium speed. Maybe a little firmer than medium speed. And this is one where I like hitting the outside of the ball. Uh, because there's a chance that he, if he doesn't make it straight in, it could bank, the, the cue ball could go up to the other end. There's some good things can happen here. You could hear a pin drop in here, Dan. It's like getting awfully quiet. Well, look at this. It's got a little putty. You know? I don't think it cuts easily inside. Uh, the corner's a tough shot. Well, it looks like he does have a side pocket. He's looking to go with three rails and try to play the, play the five on the side. Let's see what he does here. And he hit it awfully good. That he shot. Did. All right. All right, he needs to hit it just below center to go to the left of the seven ball like this. Are we going to do interview? Okay, we're not going to have time for an interview. Now, that's if Efren gets out here, which he should. He has three balls remaining. And don't forget, as always, this great tape or any other in the AccuStat collection is available by simply calling 1-800-828-0397. They both shot over 900. That's remarkable. Great pocket bigots. And Dan, I want to tell you what an extreme pleasure it's been for me to work with you once again. Well, it's I been look, all my pleasure. Well, thanks. I look forward to more of the same in the future. And it's going to be semi-bedlam here for a little bit. At any rate, from all of us at AccuStats, we thank you for your patronage, and uh, good luck in your next nine-ball match.